Nasema, yes, I cheated on my wife. Ni sawa. Mm -hmm. Lakini ni cheat na the wrong person. What is the problem there? Wrong person, what do you mean by that? Wrong person. What's well, so beautiful and amazing people? Of course, it's your girl, Jackie Divan, and your Tubili, T.I.V. and Kama Kawaida. Niko hapa na chawa raiza ndani, incoming governor. Mungu kasi pungu. Mungu siku zote apewe sifa atukuzwe. Mm -hmm. Milele na milele. Amina. Mwajua tukikonanga na suti na manisha vitu ziko serious. Vitu ziko serious kama kawa kama dawa. Masuti ziko tu. Zinavaliwa kila siku. Zinachenjiwa tu. Zinachenjiwa kama kawa kama dawa. Mm -hmm. Yote tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu. Unajua sio jambo ya kawaida mungu wana kuamusha asubuhi. Mm -hmm. Na kuambiaka kila siku kuna watu wakonye kwenye mochari. Wamelala saii. Mm -hmm. Mapua baridi. Mm -hmm. Unapatio pointi. Kuna watu wanya wamekula pamba kwenye mdomo. Wamekula pamba na mapua iko friji kabisa. Mm -hmm. Na kuna watu ambao leo hii tukiongea na wewe wako kwenye mashine nafanya tiu 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 kweli wona leo wona leo wona leo na kuna mtu amelemewa na mahewa mm. unapatiwa mm. pointi kabisa kuna watu sahi ya wawezi kutembea vizuri mm. kuna madada sahi ya watembi vizuri mm -hmm. walitolewa airlog mm -hmm. sio kita kucheza hii airlog ilikatu ili tuangaje nini ili nini angulitita ili kwa ili kote ili tuwaje ili kutuja ili nini ili nye ili ili joint ili ball joint Kuna madada saibu ili tunongia na ya as we speak. Ball joint yao wali disconnectiwa na wanaijeria. So ni kitu ambao wakasimamu kubizu bila damu mzuri uratembea umenyo watu. Unashukuru mwajezi mungu. Kabisa. Eh, Unashukuru mwajezi mungu. Ni ambi. <laughs> Abeda kasipulti mwona yule dogo yu aitua rivani ya mekuposti pale. Eh maybe ya mnapanga kitu nini? Ah, vani boy, vani boy ni memuona kani posti kwenye stories. Mm -hmm. Na kantag na kani follow. Mm -hmm. Na yule ni mdogo wangu. Mm -hmm. uh, na nilikuambia vani boy eh, ni mkenya kwao ni hapa pale pale inaitwa bondo ukifika kuna stage pale bondo inaitwa gobei baba yake anaitwa ochola makoyo rivani ni mtoto wa kijaluo unapatiwa pointi na ndio maana nikipigwa kina damu nikwambia wasikanyage kenya wasitembee wasifanye chochote kwa sababu wamearibu mziki ya kenya i go slow kwa vani boy Vivan Van Boy. Vivan Van Boy mtu mbaya. Unapatiwa point Kabisa. kwa sababu kwao ni pale panaitwa Gobi. Na ndio maana kajiita chui kwa vile hiyo ile ilikuanga na kitambo na bush na kulikuwa na machui mingi. Babu yake anaitwa chui kwa kijaluo. Na gine nyocha chui lungo na degi kwach. Baba yake anaitwa babu ya babu ya Van Boy anaitwa kwach. Sasa kwa vile alienda Tanzania akajibadilisha akapea jina chui. Mm -hmm. Kwao ni hapa Gobei hapa hivi. So kwa at the end of the day tunaheshimu the fact that Vani Boy ni mkenya mwenzetu anatoka pale hapa anaitwa Gobei karibu na Bondo. In fact uko ya familia yao na familia ya Raila Molo Dinga wako babu ya Vani Boy na babu ya Mwenye ameza sasa coach Mayen Wodogola. Unapatia point? Sasa coach Mayen Wodogola. Eh coach sasa coach Ogola ndo ameza kwachu. Mm -hmm. Nye sasa yovani boy kajita nani? Tui. So tunasema razima tumsupporti tu. Ni mkenya mwenze tu yule. Vani boy mtu mba ni mkenya kutoka bondo. Ndo kasikia kasema nime nini nimetoka bondo. Anaimba kwao. Unapatio point? Ni vile sasa damu hondo ni mkongo lakini ni Tanzania. Yeah. Hee. Unapatio point? Mm -hmm. ha, ni vile makonda harmonize ni kutoka the other side ya huko upandengine. Lakini at the same time ni Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So sisi vani boy tumempeana official tumempeana wapi Tanzania lakini kwao ni Gobei baba babu yake babu ya babu yake anaitwa Kwach mau enwodo Ogola Eh hey. uh, kasi pula acha tutoke Tanzania kidogo lakini tutarudi huko tumeona ulifanya a certain interview na kasi pula ni kama ulisema you regret cheating on your wife maybe you to pesa ndani Hii kitu mmedwele ndani sana kwa sababu gani? Mmedwele hujatuambia za ndani. Eh ni kitu ya kawaida. Watu wanapitia mapito kama kawaida na kwa hii dunia lazima watu wanasema your best teacher your the, uh, your best teacher is your is, is, your, is your last mistake. Makosa ambayo ulifanya mwisho. Unapatiwa point? Mm -hmm. Kuna vitu ambazo zinaendelea lakini nakwambia you meet different people kwa hii dunia ukitembea kwa uh, safari ya dunia mm -hmm. na kuna mapungufu na madhaifu una experience so mimi ndo mtu wa kwanza come out na nikasema yes i cheated on my wife ni sawa mm -hmm. lakini ni cheat na the wrong person what is the problem there wrong person what do you mean by that wrong person ni 
labda mtu ambaye hafai unapatia point mm -hmm. kama ni right person ni sawa mm -hmm. anaheshimu mke wako sawa anaheshimu watoto wako sawa mm -hmm. anaheshimu mamako sawa anakuheshimu kama mwanaume sawa that is the right person but hawezi kukanyaga unuka, uruke mkojo ukanyage mavi mm -hmm. unapatia point yeah. na tumewekewa mentality fulani ya kwamba wanaume wote unaonanga wakitembea hii town unaonanga unasema kwamba hao wanaume wamenyooka kama post ya stima mm -hmm. i wish i wish tungewacha maneno ya uzunguni tukae chini na wazee ambao ni wa kitamaduni ya Kiafrika mm -hmm. waseme ya kwamba badala wewe mtoto wa kiume kwenda kuzunguka na kitu yote unapata unalala nao huko nje ati kwa sababu you want to prove to the community or to the society that you are a straightforward person mm -hmm. that ya kwamba i only have my wife mm -hmm wanakuruhusu au wanakuambia kwamba badala kuruka na kila kitu tafuta mke mwingine ongeza akuwe msaidizi wa mke wako mm -hmm. uh, maybe let me tell you that is the problem that we have and we are facing as men because we don't want to have a seat and have a conversation that will change the perception na mind ya watu and that's why unaona watu wote wanaume wote wanaenda through mapito wanapitia maneno mazito wengi wanakufa na mental health depression imewaua mtu amerudi kwa nyumba amedunga bibi kiso amejidunga kiso ameenda angeweza ataka kuongea unapatia hiyo point na ndo kuna cheating kwa marriage as we speak watu ambao wana cheat kwa marriage watu wenye wana cheat sasa hii 90% ni watu wenye wako kwa marriage wasiano dogo wa cheat wenye wako single kwa sababu gani Mm -hmm. Vijana wanaangalia wanasema mbona mwanamke ameoleka ana responsibility. The best thing I can do ni kwenda kulala naye, nikimaliza naye narudi huko. Hata kuja kuniuliza kwamba nataka eh, ya makucha, ya macho, ana feel anafanyia a married woman favor. Mm -hmm. Unapatia point? Kabisa. Na mwanaume anajua nikienda kuanya nje nitajishield na bibi yangu niseme si unajua bibi yangu akikujua atafanya nini? Atakupiga. So anakutumia we kama mtoto msichana mm -hmm. watu wanabaki sasa sasa hivi wamebaki wako single. Mm -hmm. Siku hizi ukiingia kwa flat yote hii Nairobi hata estate yote magari nyingi zinatoka asubuhi zikienda kazini kumi out, out of ten utaona wawili ndio wako na mabibi zao wanatoka kila mtu single mother single women single women single women they are okay mm -hmm. because wanasema ya kwamba at the end of the day hakuna wanaume mm -hmm. lakini tungeweka hiki kitu ikwe ya kwamba Jaki unakubali na unasema kwamba nimepata huyu mtu wako na mke. Mimi nataka kuwa mke wako wa nani? Wa pili. Ni mheshimu, ni mpende tuongene tu, 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 kwa pamoja then tungekuwa na hiyo kitu. Sasa ndo itabidi ugonjwa itakuwa too much. Mhm. Ugonjwa itakuwa nini? Too much. Kwa sababu mimi I'm married. Nikuja na kupata wewe ni single, nilale na wewe, wewe uko na boyfriend, na wewe boyfriend wako akona girlfriend, na wewe girlfriend wako akona boyfriend, na wale mwingine akona ona vile chain watu wanakufa wote. In the name of cheating. In the name of Unapata point? Mhm. Mm so yote tano tisa, we need to have a seat as men and discuss this thing na kusema kwamba rather than cheating with 10 women, mhm. Mm tafuta msichana wa mtu. Muite karibu, muambie kaka nda yangu tusongembe and i will tell you this discussion leaders especially from church wangependa kuiongea kwa sababu gani wanahisi ya kwamba sio conversation ambao ni healthy na ni religion but the day we will walk out of that thing ya kwamba you have the fear of god but at the same time unaweza kukua na uwezo ya kusema ya kwamba ndo ni control mwili unaona madini ya Kiislamu wanasema kwamba kuwa na wangapi kwa sababu wanajua mtoto wa kiume ni mtoto mbaya sana mtoto wa kiume anaweza kuwa na hapa sasa hivi na mtu apita hapa na uone macho nafuatilia hop inaenda na yeye huko unapatia point so the day to rise on occasion na tuongelee hizi vitu mhm mm juu tulikuwa tunaongea hapa na rafiki yangu kotia tunasema kwamba unaona vijana wote wanatembea town wanataka Mungu but wanaenda wapi there is no where to go Yeah. There is nowhere to go kwa sababu at the end of the day you walk in in a church unaingia kwa kanisa the next thing unapata yule ambao ni mwenye dhambi mwenye amepiga mtu risasi mm -hmm. mwenye ameua mtu mwenye amepora pesa amechukua pesa corruption mm -hmm. ameumiza inchi amefanya kitu nyamefanya ameumiza hospitali ameumiza manini 
na anapewa kiti mbele anakaa kwa sababu gani the day we will not respect politician in church wakae nyuma kama watu wengine wakae huko nyuma kama watu wengine kwa sababu nyumba ya Mungu iletee upuzi atuwe ni mheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa yako enda na huko nje kwa bunge yako, kwa county government yako, penye huko the day wata respect kanisa. Na wajua kwamba wawezi ingia kanisa na wafanye upuzi na watoke, that is the day we'll have a conversation that young men watatafuta Mwenyezi Mungu. But so long as tuko hivi, unaingia unapata wauaji wa miketi mbele, watu wa corruption wa miketi mbele. Trust me, we are going nowhere as a country. Okay. Uh, so in short, we agree with the sent sentiments that uh, Mr. Sida Lekapale on social media that uh, men are naturally polygamous. They are naturally polygamous. Because uh, number one, number one, mm -hmm. you as a woman, nene chako ya kwamba, you're not even interested like labda le wii ni mekombia viki na kutaka. You be like, mm, me can date that kasipul. But so long as with time na kuwa na consistency na kufanya vitu za kufurahisha you start develop feelings with me unasema ah sio kama sio mbaya sio mbaya with yeah. time unajipata mwingi kwa box yangu with time unaanza kunipenda lakini mimi the more na kuchez mm -hmm. kuna kitu nataka the mm -hmm. day ninapata hivi unaanza ku lose interest na rudi chini now you start investing interest nini feelings zako kwangu na mimi sasa nimefanya nini nimejitoa so yote tano tisa ni ya kwamba inamaanisha mwanaume anakuanga excited tu kwa kuona na akishamaliza kuona mm -hmm. with the time pia anaanza ku lose na wewe sasa ndo una develop so kitu nyanafanyika ni hivi ni ya kwamba lazima hiyo kitu ni sida amesema muiweke kwa meza mm -hmm. we have a con tukua na conversation na tuone Ah uh, kasi pull tukiendelea na interview uh, tumeona pale mlikuwa karibu sana na sofa na squeeze ni kama you guys parted ways cuz tunaona ulikuwa wewe sofa na kimbikimbi pale Mombasa but this time ni kimbikimbi alitepele kwa Dubai what is really happening sasa ni kuulize swali raisi shida ni kimbikimbi kwenda Dubai ama shida what makes you think that uh, atuko na sofa cuz uh, ile ukaribu squeeze ya tuoni Ukaribu ni ya kwamba sofa ya aneshi Austria. Kasipula aneshi Kenya. Sofa ya akitoka Austria kukuja Kenya. Anakuanga na kuja kwa sababu kuna sababu yememuleta ambao ni ya kibiashara ama ya event. Unapatio pointi? Sofa ya anashuguli zake mingi na mabiashara zake mingi. Unapatio pointi? Siwezi kutoka ati naenda Austria ama naenda wapi ati kwa sababu tuko ati lazima wewe nikuja ni kuprovie tunafanya kazi na sofa ya wewe si unafanya kazi na tumbili unitemenga na tumbili kila siku unapatia point mm -hmm. so eh, sofa ya tuko bado together mm -hmm. bado tuko niko kwa payroll na kula pesa sana niko kwa mshara mm -hmm. ya sofa ya unapatia point mm -hmm. niko kwa mshara nini yeah, ya sofa ya na very soon kuna kitu tunafanya german na sofa ya ambayo imekuwa ikipangwa utaniona nikiingia Europe very soon na kuna kitu ambao tunafanya pia Mombasa very soon na kuna kitu tunafanya Eldoret very soon hizo ziko kwa pipeline nyenye zinafanya nini zinakuja so tuko na deals mingi tunafanya na eh? na kwa sababu ya kimbi kimbi kutoka kuenda Dubai. Dubai ni kwa sababu kulikuwa na advertisement ya kimbi kimbi anafanya pia Dubai na ulimwona ameshika unga fulani aka advertise Dubai. Mm -hmm. Mimi umeniona of late nafanya back to back na record the whole night ni kuwe ni kufanya nawe interview mm -hmm. nikitoka kufanya nawe interview lazima niende nifanye kazi zangu ambazo ni zingine tofauti za kiofisi lazima ni kuwe bwana na baba ya mtu. Na lazima ni kuwe nafanya ma shoots za nini? Shoots za adverts. Mm -hmm. So tumekuwa tuko busy the whole Uh, month mm -hmm. tukifanya kazi na tukasikilizana na tukakubaliana ya kwamba we split ndo kila mtu afanye kazi alafu mm -hmm. tukifanya event ambayo inatuunganisha sisi wote Kenya tutakuwa sisi wote very soon utatuona naye kuna kitu kingine yeah tukimalizia kasi pool by the way tumeona eh ni kuma sign my deals pale tunafanya kazi na DJ Shit kidogo kidogo tunaona jalango na ku embrace pale kama ga incoming governor yeah. Yeah. Ah, kasi pool ni god ni god number one Mm -hmm. DJ Shiti ni mtu ambao aliniingisha kwa game mm -hmm. you all know mm -hmm. without DJ Shiti 
kwanza Mungu ndiye amenintroduce kwa game mm -hmm. then number two, DJ Shiti played a very big role because Shiti ndo ali realize mimi ni actor Shiti ndo aliniambia kaspool you can do better in acting mm -hmm. kwa sababu nakumbuka the first day I went to visit DJ Shiti nilikuwa na kuongea naye kuhusu Jitume Nation akuje tufanye show in Madhari mm -hmm. nikakutana na demo anaitwa Nadia Mukami bibi ya Arobo Shemeji yetu mm -hmm walikuwa wanafanya acting na DJ Shiti akaniambia kuja usimamu nifanyie kwa sababu mtu hajakuja since then Shiti akasema you have something and please work on it na corona kukakuja na lockdown mm -hmm. ambao tulikuwa 24/7 tuko na DJ Shiti tunatembea naye tunafanya naye acting Shiti ndo alinintroduce kwa game na ndo kukatoka nile kitu tunasua failure unasikia mm. fail failure na kuna ringtone by the way failure make sure Oh, umeweka na skiza tune skiza tune iko ya failure make sure umeweka kama ringtone yako to support industry so mm -hmm. DJ Shiti ni baba wa talent ameni mentor ameniambia industry na kaje mm -hmm. Shiti ndo aliniambia watoto wa industry ni wabaya kaa nao kama kunguni mm -hmm. Shiti ndo amenifundisha uchafu ya industry na usafi ya industry. Mm -hmm. So I was honored to do a collab with DJ Shiti na utaniona kwa sinema ya DJ Shiti kwa sababu siwezi kudharau pale penye mtu amenitoa. Shiti will remain a legend in my life, mm -hmm. a father in my life. Mm -hmm. I will respect him because if I disrespect DJ Shiti then I am finished. Okay, Kasipul, thank you so much for your time. Mungu anazidi kusaidia siku zote. Oh, ulikuwa umeniambia pia kuhusu jalango. Oh, yeah. mbona sijajibu kuhusu jalango? Acha <laughs> kuembrace, acha kupa ile cheo. Ah, uh, we all know. And you can attest that after jalango hakujawahi tokezea wanaume ambao amekuwa kwenye industry na akakuwa na energy kushinda jalango. Jalango ndo ali prove to the world prove to Kenyans that anaweza kufanya anaweza kufanya advert more than 100 alijionesha anaweza kujituma ile energy yenye Jalango alikuwa nayo we all admired yes yeah, sure i'll be very honest with you ikirudi kwa maneno ya kufanya kazi kwenye industry na kujituma nitakwambia with no fear or contradiction ya kwamba i respect i have so much respect for Jalango mm -hmm. na mimi Niliangalia kwa industry nikasema hakuna jalango mwingine. Mm -hmm. Mimi nataka kufanya kama ya jalango na ni endele vingine kwa sababu jalango alifanya art na kaingia kwa politics. Mm -hmm. Na amekuwa sawa kwa politics. Mm -hmm. Na wacha nisikudanganye na sitakurudilia. Mm -hmm. Mimi rafiki yangu ni rafiki yangu. Mimi sijai kuwa karibu na mtu anaitwa jalango. Mm -hmm. Sijai kuwa na karibu na nani? Na jalango. Mm -hmm but i will tell you for free na nguvu nyenye yuko nayo na vile anajituma jalango atakuwa second term mp jalango kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa governor wa Nairobi uongozi haipeanwi na binadamu uongozi unapeanwa na Mwenyezi Mungu so the best thing ni watu wa langata na watu Kenya mzima wa embrace jalango because there is something about him that young men are looking up to na mimi akishanipea baraka hivyo nilifurahia na nikajua kwamba jalangu umenipa baraka na mtafuta nataka nimnunulie lunch nimwambie sasa nipe baraka mzima mzima na piga advert sasa kaa ukijua the next big thing in Kenya is Dr. Kasipul so long as tu nimekutana na jalangu akaniambia bro you have my blessing ninapiga maadvert mjitayarisha na piga advert baada ya advert wenye wivu wa pasuke kama pasua pasua kwa sababu Kasipul is going places na kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu we are going to nurture people when you take over Unapata hiyo point? Asho. Mungu anabariki siku zote. Ata. Mungu ni mwema, Mungu apewe sifa. Siku zote anabaki kuwa Mungu jana leo kesho na milele. Amen. Thank you so much for time guys. That has been one on one with Kasipul. Till next time. Bye bye.